Shatawale is overwhelmed by the constant beef he's been engaged in over the years. And Lydia Fawson also has something to say to bloggers. Welcome to the review on One Play Africa. I'm Tilly Kenifa. I'm seated with me today as Insemo Chrome, Bygone from Insemo Chrome, yeah. and Amate Roland, Roland Tablet, Roland, so many names from Events Guide. He's also here with a very nice hair that I'm jealous about. And you're coming to have an interesting conversation. Please welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah, your voice is very familiar on this page, but it's you. Welcome, sir. Thank you, madam. Okay, so. Bygone, would you like to let us know a little bit of what you do aside in Selmo Chrome, the page, anything else you do? Well, uh, since we are in the entertainment uh, space, and I, w I would like uh, to introduce myself on the entertainment level. You know, sure. I'm a blogger, publicist, and also a, I mean, a, an event organizer as well. And, oh, and, okay. You know, uh, that's why yeah. I said you are related somehow. You know, all right. So th that, that is all. We are just putting stuff together. And, to, to be good. So. Thank, you. Thank you and welcome to the show. Gentlemen, please sell yourself. <laughs> the, one of the constant faces aside the first year, you know, my name is Roland Damate from Events Guide Africa, Ghana Event Awards. We have the top 50 events uh, online. Check it out. Okay, so let's go to the first story. Media Forcing is saying that his tone between putting out what he feels and the comments and some articles from nasty bloggers, those you call nasty bloggers. So I am asking, do you think um, bloggers she is overreacting or bloggers go at her too much and are not being open minded about the kind of things she posts on social media? Well, uh, you see, <laughs> it's very funny that she's saying this though, but she is a celebrity. How she carries herself would definitely have an impact I mean, on the society, or in the society, I should say. And we, the bloggers as a whole, we post or publish based on what we see the celebrities do. So let's say, uh, till you woke up this morning, you brushed your teeth. I mean, you do all that you could do. You didn't put anything on social media. By going here, I won't even know that this is what Tilly is doing. But since you've decided to put it out, at the end of the day, bloggers will pick it out. And then you also try to, you know, there's something you call clickbait. I mean, most bloggers do, but some, I mean. So let's say uh, we saw Lydia forcing, brushing her teeth. Some bloggers will go like, oh, Lydia forcing can't afford blah, 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 blah. So she's using to so and so and so. You understand? But for the very first place, if she herself, you know, a fan to her, like nobody would have even known. So as I say, so as she's blaming bloggers, I, I, I don't have issue. We normally we get stuff like this, but I mean, this is what you are putting out, and you are also reporting based on what you put out. So how how well uh, we say like we are? I mean, you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So okay, but that that is an issue. That's Me personally, I don't I don't I don't have an issue with it. Okay. I I want to know. Do you think the tag nasty bloggers it was too harsh or it was reaction? Action and reaction. Yeah, I think it is an uh, action and reaction issue. And, okay. But I am surprised as to now Lydia Fawcett has not, still not developed that thick skin uh, with, uh, with the comments or probably the posts from the media or the bloggers as she's, she started for us to tag us as nasty. Because um, just like she, she, is, she is an entertainer and our job goes hand in hand, okay? She needs us and we also need her. Like Bygone said, whatever she puts out is what we also trumpet. It's not as if we conjure stuff about her and post or say things about her. And whatever you bring out there, mind you, people will have diverse opinions about whatever you're putting out. Just like, just like he said, probably you're brushing your teeth with a, a one CD toothbrush. Somebody can say, oh, you cannot afford probably a five CD toothbrush and you're using one CD. Somebody would say, in another comment session, somebody will also come and defend you. That probably yeah. you are just being economical. You don't have to waste money on exactly. uh, maybe five CD toothbrush, whilst the one CD can do the same job. But isn't that too much, crossing the line? Like, somebody is just using brush, like uh, an mm -hmm. example, and then you, a blogger comes from nowhere and says she's poor, that is why. Is it not too much? Isn't there a certain line certain bloggers cross? Well, uh, 
as long as you make it public I, I don't see the line anywhere because if you wanted to keep some certain line i don't think that you should even put it out at the first place you understand okay. bloggers in there then they i mean we have different types of bloggers just as said the clickbait those who are interested in the money and not reporting the i mean the actual truth or the real fact exactly you so there are people who don't report the actual truth yes but i um, mean people like someone like myself you know i'll just report exactly as it is seen but i mean you know we have different types of people we understand and how they react to certain stuff okay. so i think say for her to i mean enjoy her peace i think that she shouldn't put certain stuff on and i mean always jumping into conclusion we say we say this that that and all Okay. If you see an issue, this bowl, if leader person choose to talk about it, it's cool. If he doesn't choose to talk about it, I mean, everyone is okay. As a blogger, I won't get anything to write about leader person. So, to me, I see, say, definitely she wants us to write something about her. That is why she, I mean, constantly putting stuff out. So, it's just as a, a senior man said, it's a hand in hand thing. So, that's it. so, just because she wants you to go out or she wants her fans to know what is happening. That is why she put it up. And when you pick it up and also try to, you know, make it a little bit sweeter, as it, it is now. I mean, they, I don't see problem on, on that level. Okay. So. Okay. You were the one who agreed that uh, the reaction, the mm -hmm. nasty tag mm -hmm. was. At what point does a blogger cross to become a nasty blogger? Um, for her to tag us as nasty, we we no bore because yes, it's it's been one of <laughs> one of the hazards when it comes to this yeah. job. So we we no bore. But you see, sometimes I would admit, sometimes some of our colleagues cross lines. Those ones there, yeah, yes, we, we, I think we all accept that because there's a very thin line between somebody's privacy and somebody's public life. But then, when the person becomes a celebrity, it is some sometimes very difficult for you to differentiate between what uh, is the person's public uh, life or the private life. Oh, but some people have managed to put exactly it, so it depends it all boils down to what you decide to put out up to now even Nadia Bwari always shows her case online but yeah. yes but no one has ever seen their faces she has her own way of putting things out what she wants you to know is mm -hmm. what she puts out okay so if you want your people to know that you are wearing a green dress mm -hmm. and you decide to put probably you would have the front to be green and the back blue. So, what, but when you face us with a green, what do you expect us to talk about? Obviously, we are going to talk about the green. Mm -hmm. So, if for her for her to say that, oh, okay, we we sometimes cross the line. Yes, I will admit, but she should also know that whatever she feeds the public is what they will feed on. Exactly. Yes. So, for for the nasty tag here, we will know more. It's part of our job, and if she if she brings. 30 stuff we will, we will talk about it 30 times. Okay, um, there's an actress who wants to give love one last try. She has been divorced, having relationship problems and all. She wants to give love one last try. So hey. please, if you are out, uh, watching out there and you want to give love one last try, so please, I'll tell you the name of the person. And so I want to ask you on this same issue we are talking about. Uh, this kind of comment from our stars, does it make you feel slow when you want to do something for them or when they put something out there? Do you think twice before working on them or as long as they are insulting you and then you are also getting your hype and your clickbait, you don't mind? You see, uh, the, the issue here is that even though it's Lydia Fossin who, I mean, published whatever or posted whatever she's doing online, at the end of the day, I'm not publishing for Lydia Fossin. Okay. I'm publishing in my own interest, my readers and uh, my fans, I should say, okay. you understand. Mm -hmm. So, to me personally, mm -hmm. whatever she posts, you know, I'm not. I don't have any issue with it. I'll just come and pick it up. I mean, pub, uh, uh, polish it and then publish it for my readers to see. Say, this is what is happening in Lydia Fossen's life. Okay. So that's it. So whether she tags us as a, a, a nasty bloggers, I mean, ask, ask uh, uh, my brother. You are bloggers. We do receive threats. We go beat you and oh, wow. I mean oh yeah last time a colleague uh, blogger was beaten by Shatawale's people yeah, of which I think yeah you understand. you understand I mean I've received a couple of threats and all I mean it's then foolish blogger someone will come and comment that I mean that kind of funny thing it doesn't move out because we know say we are in and this is what we are publishing and this is what people are reacting 
that understand. So if she tagged me as a nasty blogger and that doesn't, I mean, slow my work down. No, that means that whatever that we are doing, she's saying. Okay. Uh, I mean, and that is a plus. Okay. So personally, as a blogger, where do you draw the line? You personally, where do you draw the line that this one is too much? I can't publish it. And where do you say this is okay? I can't publish. It? Okay. So since we are all humans and we all have feelings, and sometimes what you wouldn't like others to do to you you wouldn't also like to do to others so i think that is where sometimes you draw the line because there are some stuff that I would, you would like to keep private if let's say taking yourself as an example there are some things that probably if you were in that position you wouldn't want somebody to put it out but probably mistakenly or knowingly or knowingly it got out anyway but you wouldn't like somebody to trumpet it so you would like to keep it private same way you would have to feel for the person at some point that oh probably this person might have goofed somewhere but it doesn't mean that we should hit it or we should hammer it or trap it for people to know that oh this person has made a mistake or this person has done this or that you understand sometimes you would have to also put yourself in the person's shoes because in as much as we are all entertaining people we are all feeding people stuff you you understand we we, if we should sometimes have feelings for them as well know that okay whatever we feel when we feel pain they also feel in as much as they are celebrities or entertainers they also feel pain so they are also yeah. we know they are very emotional as well what? so <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> we know they are very emotional as well therefore we we, we should sometimes draw the line like have have sympathy for them at some point okay um, where do you draw the line personally where do you draw the line well uh i'm so with uh looking for the line yes because <laughs> if you really want the line i don't think that you should right, right, I mean, yeah. put something in there okay. i mean there are certain stuff that we can't just stand up and publish it that is the line but at some point let's say you have some stuff on your phone if i see it only the first page that means authorized so the permission has been given for me to talk about it but let's say How something this this conversation has happened on a on a much larger yes. scale, mm-hmm. Yana, you know, mm-hmm. how is that a permission for you, the blogger? Because the person puts it on their okay. private page. Wow. I mean, their personal page, okay. personal verified mm-hmm. page, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you picked it. And because I'm, I know that I am a writer as well. I know. When I mm-hmm. go on somebody's page and I pick even their picture mm-hmm. to publish in my story, I have to credit, credit them. them. Most okay. of the times, in fact, the right thing to do is to seek permission. Before, so that means that it's not everything that you see on somebody's social media handle because it's a public space that you can pick it and use. That's that I would so, agree with you. Yeah, let me let me come finish with him. Mm-hmm. Well, to me, you know, I, I still don't get the line issue because as as long as you're a celebrity and you've agreed to put certain stuff online, definitely. If you really want to keep it to yourself, I mean, it should be on your phone. And I don't think it should be online. Okay. So, I, okay. so when you publish it now or when you post it. That means you want the whole world. I don't know how much, uh, how many followers she has, but she has quite. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine. Let's let's take the bloggers out of, of, of uh, uh, her followers. I'm a fan. I see. Oh, this is what Lydia Fossin is saying. Let me screenshot it on my status. It's all form of blogging. You understand? Maybe a blogger might not pick it up and then write Instagram, about it. Instagram blogging. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Instagram. You understand? Okay. So as long as you put the thing out in it, there, okay. I, I don't see the line thing there. I because you. you wanted to comment on that. Yes, I was saying that I would agree with you because sometimes, um, in as much as we want people to know what you are doing and we put it out, like I said earlier on, there are some things that we wouldn't like it to be trumpeted. Okay. Mm-hmm. At least let's let's keep it a little on the low. You understand? Then we. One, I think Chemu once said that um, we are in a, we don't only have a pandemic, but we also have infodemic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that, that is that is too much of information mm-hmm. in the system now. We we receive information from almost everywhere. Every minute you yeah. see somebody forwarding something to you, Tally. that broadcast, us, broadcast, and all. The most beautiful of them. All. You understand, and you know, <laughs> some sometimes some may be true, others may be false. So if and you know in as much as we are trying to give people information people updates okay the same the same information we give to them could harm them so sometimes we should learn how to draw the line so the fact that somebody has probably posted something 
doesn't mean you should trumpet it. You should be able to differentiate between which one needs to be trumpeted more than the other. So, uh, let me ask. So, how, how do you know that this thing that Lydia posted that has to be trumpeted on all at least I have to do. How do you know? Okay, I, I think I, I can tip in a little bit. That okay. is where you have your personal lines. When you have your personal lines as a blogger, well, okay. where, what line I won't cross, mm -hmm. then you will decide on. Well, some of this marking scheme or morality mm -hmm. cannot be used for you. You exactly. have to create your own. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move to the next topic. Shatawale, <laughs> again, has posted a picture of himself and one of his very numerous cousins. Mona for real. Mona and is this, not his cousin. Okay. Godmother. <laughs> uh, One of his very numerous God, uh, 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 family members. <laughs> and in fact, this time, the caption was very different, very unique. Mm -hmm. He said that this is somebody they've been friends for so long and they are not. Fuck it. They are not. And I want to know <laughs> is it. <laughs> so Kawale has always um, shown himself like that person who is unperturbed about what we say about him. But recently, because of this whole love by Shamodi and Dawale case, he feels the need to say that he is not catching this one. Is Shikawale being uh, um, um, overwhelmed by his own actions? I don't think he is. Shatawale is just being himself. You know, when we started this whole conversation about Shatawale, Aisha Modi, love, then I told you I, I don't see Her this. Love is cousin. La, la, Mona, Mona is godmother. Okay, Mona, yes, Mona is godmother. You see, I told you I don't see this before this whole controversy dying now. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many angles we can take this, this beef from. From Mona, and I wouldn't even be surprised if Mona should record a song, this in Aisha Modi. I wouldn't be surprised because she's an artist now. She's a musician now. But I would be surprised. <laughs> on on what grounds? Because Why? Her name was never mentioned. Her name name was mentioned in the trace of. In the trace of, I somebody accused Shatawale of having a trace with Michi, Mona, and Love, which actually yeah, makes it awesome. awesome. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> and and. <laughs> Listener's discretion. <laughs> <laughs> and you understand, you understand all of these. If if indeed he he's not done it, I mean who who has an affair with your godmother? And Shatawale is a big brand, a big boy, you know. And so wait, it will mean he and his cousin, his godmother and his wife. And his and, and his baby mama, his not his wife. And his baby mama. Baby mama. Wow, such a, <laughs> such a big family. <laughs> well, awesome. well, by the way, there's also another musician who went on a very long break. The person is coming back with something new. So if you love that music. Mona is a musician. Let's talk about music. So yeah, there's something coming from somebody we love. We love so much. I'll give it note that person. So I'm listening to you. Yes. Yeah, so like I'm saying, Shatawale is not being overwhelmed. Actually, he's just leaving. I mean, this this is how we saw Shatawale when 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 he's come back. That is how he came back into the yeah. limelight. Okay. He he's created an animal for himself, and he's trying to feed it. This is his daily lifestyle. Okay. Yes. You just like what Eugene said, an eye for an eye. You touch me, I touch you. Just that sometimes you just decide to let something slide. But sometimes, and I would say that Shatawale has had Mona uh, Aisha, Aisha Modi on his chest for quite some time. Clearly. Clearly, Clearly. Because, because of what she's been doing to other people in the industry. So this was, he saw that this was the right opportunity to give it to this lady. He the lubricant shop and ah, lubricate you. Over to you. Um, do you think that Shatawale is overwhelmed by this whole beef that, I say, now he has met his meter and now he's threading cautiously? Or you think oh, some of the Shatawale antics? You see, uh, we know Aisamodi as someone who is, I mean, always, I mean, protecting the Stoneboy brand and attacking anyone who attacks Stoneboy's brand. But the question here is, uh, how, where, where did this information, I mean, where did it come from? Which one is living with the cast? Yes. Oh, this one put the And uh -huh. we know Aisamodi and, and Shatawale, we don't see any kind of beef there. So as I say, so what really happened? What caused all this? So, so, as I say. so that means Aisha has definitely, you know, who whom Okay. So as I say. Okay. And this time around, no, I don't see why uh, uh, Shatawale is reacting this way, but some way, somehow, I believe it's true. That is why he's doing all that he can just to, I mean, rubbish well, the whole. You believe 
Oh, what, I believe it's true because I, we, we know Shaka Wale. Which, which one is the truth? The, the, that, well, that, 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 then you're also implying that love is the cousin of Shaka Wale, which he's obviously denied. Well, Hold on. but per the information mm -hmm. that I somebody gave, mm -hmm. this is what she's alleging. Okay. I and understand. that is what Shatawali is but also if, denying. But you if, as vlogger, okay. I, want to, I want to know mm -hmm. how credible do you think I somebody is when it comes to the kind of information she gives out in the media space? How credible you personally as a blogger mm -hmm. would you take what I somebody says for it? That is the sure thing. You, you know, uh, whatever that I shall put out, the one way or the other, it's either it's praising someone's brand or uh, tarnishing the person's image. And I don't think that she would deliberately do something like that. It seems she is deliberately doing something like that. What makes you so sure that? This is what she's doing. I was asking the fact that he has had to come and say that this one. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that he's getting overwhelmed by it? You happen up. Uh, is he feeling overwhelmed by this whole thing? Around uh, exactly, because I mean we all know Shatawale and we know how he approaches certain issue. But it seems that uh, this one has really hit him okay. so hard. I mean he has recorded several. Yeah, I mean he has been on live. I think for almost two or three, and it's like. The information, Jerry, Jerry. yeah. He just added one yesterday in yeah, his car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it seems like there's a secret somewhere which has, you know, been revealed, and then it's like it's it's getting, you know, too much. Mm -hmm. So he's doing all that he can just to, and always, you know, I mean, this insult, 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 kind of just as a street fighting now. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this one has really hit Satawale, and I think that due to that, and some part of me believe it's true. You no, know, he's so overwhelmed, and then he's reacting based on that. Okay, well, my opinions will come later, but if you heard from Roland, Roland, the way your mouth is shaking, it's like, what is this? Say something fine now, and then we are out of here. You know, this is a street fight, like I always I say. Every, like everything, everything, everything goes, and you know, I wouldn't take now. In, in when it comes to beefing, you don't always have to take some people's word for it, okay? Because we've had instances whereby people have alleged things on others and later when they smoke the peace pipe, they come and say, oh, I was just trying to get under his skin or I was just trying to hit him somewhere that it would hurt. So this is beef and like I said, this is a street fight, everything goes. Somebody can just say, oh, you probably, excuse me to say, they killed your mom or you, you've killed your mom or something, something accuse you of something you don't even know anything yeah. about and later on they would come and apologize that oh, we just wanted to get under your skin so people should just take the beef as it is let's enjoy it let's promote it in fact let's find people to manage it and push it hard drop your social media handles who knows somebody might let you manage their beef for them okay <laughs> so if you're looking for me events guide africa on facebook instagram twitter and my personal one is kofi tab that is on ig Okay, um, Insemo Chrome. Yeah, so uh, if you are looking for me to uh, go uh, Instagram, Insemo Chrome, uh, Facebook, Insemo Chrome, and then when you go on uh, Twitter, it's Ken Bygon and Insemo Chrome as well. So, uh, I mean, we did there some. Okay, so the musician who has come back or who is coming back, and the actress who wants to give love one last chance, 1kafrica.com, where you did the stories are there. I wrote them for you. So go and check it out and yeah, if you're watching this, you can see something nice here. It's home of Nandong Share Butter. Hamata season, it will come. Those who are being purposed that Hamata will come, it will come. Get your own and use it so that you don't break your skin when Hamata that season coming. comes. Where yeah. is your puto? Okay, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the, the show. If you have any comments, drop it, drop it. If you have any message, send it to me on 0200. 355199 and if there's anything you have to do, do it now. One play, one play, one play. At class to your music. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press or click on the subscribe button. The bell icon will show up. Press on it and press all because you don't want to miss any of our content.